Let's do a quick review of the rectangular coordinate system and graphs. So here is the coordinate plane broken up into its four quadrants. And we see the first quadrant, the second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. So in general, the numbering system has them forming a C. And points are plotted as XY coordinates. Let's look at an example of graphing equations by creating a table. We're going to look at a simple example here, but you can use this strategy for any type of equation that you're not familiar with graphing. So for here, let's look at y equals 2x minus 1. We're going to create a table, then we're going to plot the points. So we need to choose some x values. Usually I choose at least three. Here I'll choose a few more. So I'll do negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. I'm going to substitute those values of x in for x in the equation. So y equals two times negative three minus one, which equals negative seven. So that forms the point negative three, negative seven. Substituting in negative 2, we get negative 5, so the point negative 2, negative 5. Substituting in negative 1, we get negative 3. Substituting in 0, we get negative 1. Substituting in 1, we get 1. Substituting in 2, we get 3. And substituting in 3, we get 5. So our last point will be 3 comma 5. Now we can plot those points. So negative 3, negative 7, negative 2, negative 5, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 5. And we can draw what is here a line. So I can connect those points with a line. So we can also identify x and y intercepts from the graph. So here we can clearly see that the y intercept is 0, 1 from the table or the graph, because this is where the line crosses the y axis. And we can find the x intercept. Now it will be here. It's not identified by a point, but it looks like it's at 1 half comma 0. Let's actually find the x and y intercepts from an equation. So we're going to use 3x plus y equals negative 4. Again, it doesn't have to be a linear equation. It could be a quadratic. It could be exponential. It could be a logarithm. To find our x-intercept, no matter what type of function we have, we will substitute 0 in for y and solve for x. So substituting in 0, we get 3x plus 0 equals negative 4 or 3x equals negative 4. Dividing both sides by 3, we get x equals negative 4 thirds. So our x-intercept is negative 4 thirds comma 0. And we can have more than one x-intercept. In some cases, we may, may not have an x-intercept at all. To find the y-intercept, substitute 0 in for x and solve for y. So doing that here, we get 3 times 0 plus y equals negative 4, or simply y equals negative 4. So our y-intercept for this equation is 0 comma negative 4. 